to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. Here's what we have in store for you on this August 26, 2013 edition. Tonight, is Syria deja vu all over again? He's invoking the dead shelter. It's really hard to express in words. Look at the, the dead. human suffering. Just like the baby incubators. And the Defense Department says the founding fathers were extremists that wouldn't be welcome in today's military. All that and more on tonight's InfoWars Nightly News. Claim that an attack of this staggering scale could be contrived or fabricated ah. needs to check their conscience. Oh. And welcome back. Top story headline. McCain urges very serious U.S. action on Syria. McCain, who has long argued for military aid of the Syrian opposition to tip the balance in the conflict, said he was skeptical that the U.N. team would be able to complete a thorough probe. Horrific. Horrific. And if the United States stands by and doesn't take very serious action, not just launching some cruise missiles, then again, our credibility in the world is diminished even more if there's any left. And I dare say it's because of guys like John McCain who hang out with Syrian Al-Qaeda rebels on their summer vacation that we have diminished credibility to begin with. Now, this whole situation, those comments were based on the red line being crossed, that being chemical weapons being used in Syria, even though in a clip we'll show you a little bit later on Alex Jones's breakdown of the John Kerry speech, John Kerry admits in his speech that the UN does not have any idea who actually let off the, the chemical weapons in Syria, but we still need to investigate anyway. We still need to send our troops in, get the boots on the ground anyway, even though the UN who sent people in don't know who actually let these things off. And we'll get to that a little bit later, but first let's, let's do a little bit of a, a rundown, a little bit of breakdown of the history of these type of events. We have this article, Colin Powell, No Good Samaritan. Now you can see Colin Powell right there dangling his bottle of anthrax, and we'll scroll down a little bit to the part. It says, at the Memorial Day event, Powell hailed our wounded warriors from Iraq and Afghanistan as the cameras cut to several severely damaged veterans. Now this is very similar to what happened today with the John Kerry speech, because right before John Kerry, I mean right before John Kerry came on, they had a Medal of Honor ceremony, I'm sure very much well-deserved for the soldier, but they had a Medal of Honor ceremony, just like with this Colin Powell issue. They had, uh, you know, the cameras showing all the wounded warriors. You know, so before we send you over here to die in this this uh, preemptive conflict, we're just going to get you hyped up and hooped up so you can go over there and die happy and, you know, not make any big fuss about it. And that's the situation that's going on in here. And you'll see a whole big breakdown of this and many other things. The Alex Jones breakdown of the John Kerry speech coming up a little bit later. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. 